Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade your computer. Um, it can be any computer you go out and buy, as long as you get the uh, appropriate parts for it. And a lot of places will say that if you have a Dell or a Compaq, you can't go out and buy a hard drive and put it in there. You have to get it from Compaq. And that's just a lie in order for you to buy more stuff from them. Um, sometimes a lot of people do that. Um, but I'm going to show you how to upgrade a Dell today. I'm going to show you how the processor in it. Um, Sometimes it's cheaper just to upgrade it yourself rather than go out and buy a computer with the stuff in it. So we're going to be taking a Celeron out of a Dell 530S uh, Slim, and we're going to be putting in a dual core E2180. So uh, it's pretty good to do it yourself, or this way you can save a lot of money. So. All right, today we're going to be looking at the workings of the Dell 530S series. Uh, it's a really great computer so far. Uh, this is a review of it pretty much. Inside your uh, little panel here. You get your card reader, and right here is where your DVD drive will pop out. You can set it two different ways. You can set it up as a slim, or you can set it downwards, and your uh, logo turns here. The model we have here is a uh, has a Celeron uh, processor in it. It's a 2.2 gigahertz with a 512 kilobyte L2 cache, which is definitely not enough, and it comes with Windows Vista, 2 gigs of RAM. If I look this way to the side, it's a nice. Uh, white and silver case, and then on the back you got your VGA out. You got four USBs and Ethernet, six channel uh, sound, and then you got your uh, small power supply down here, and you got your uh, modem. We're gonna have a look inside the case. You got uh, two screws that you need to remove, which is one located here and one located here. They're in the back. So basically, you can try to unscrew them with your hands, but uh, we have. That screwdriver right here. So we're gonna go ahead and unscrew this real quick, and uh, we'll get to see the inner workings and uh, show you what we're gonna, what upgrade we're gonna do today. And it's a pretty simple one. Um, you know, anybody can do this at home. Um, basically, I'm gonna replace the processor. So right here, I have some uh, Arctic Silver type paste. And then an Intel E2180, which is a dual core. So we're just going to grab this right here and pull. Lift up. Remove the side. This is a brand new system, as you can see. Um, see if you close nice and clean. This right here, you take it. You just, um, you just remove this little piece right here. Slide it this way. And you grab this. Pull up push up and just lift right up. So on the inside the components are pretty cool. How Dell does all this in this little slim design case here. Let's get a second and look at it. Um, you got your CPU cooler, your chipsets there, you have a PCI uh, Express X16 slot there and then a PCI Express X1 and you got your PCI slots. Of course this specific model and generally all, all of these slim lines they all have about, what is this, 120 watt max output uh, power supply, along with a nice Western Digital um, pretty big hard drive, uh, it's a serial ATA, and then a CD DVD burner, which also, so, so we're going to do is we're going to remove uh, the four screws on the heat sink and unplug it, and uh, we're going to, alright, once you get these four screws removed, make sure your uh, four pin um, power connector is uh, unhooked over there. And then grab it of the fan and just gently lift up. It already has a nice silver paste to it already, but we're going to clean that off and apply our Arctic Silver. And there on the board is our uh, processor right there. Um, that is a Celeron processor. It's 2.2 uh, gigahertz, and we're going to go ahead and remove that by. Uh, you how to do this here. Well, if we could zoom here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this little thing right here. Little angle right there. Pull this like this. Pull it back and then up. Grab your door. Gently lift up. And you got your processor right here. You can slide that right out. Be careful, extra careful not to get any paste on anything at all. That's an absolute no no. So there you go, you have the socket. And uh, that's pretty much what your processor looks like. So, 
we're gonna remove that. And we're gonna clean the processor off and have a Alright, here's the E2190 just lying about. Um zoom up on it here. So we're gonna put that yeah, there you go. We're gonna go ahead and put that inside the case. So So we'll remove the black piece, which is located on the back of the processor. Check the uh where the pins would be for any uh debris, which looks good. And you want to put it in there. You got your two tabs at, which I suppose would be this way. Kind of drop it in there. All right. Now it's in. Well, next. Because what you want to do is you want to grab your door, put it down, grab your uh, pin, your little hammer, and you just push it down and push it underneath there. And you're good to go. Now what you're going to do is throw some paste on it and uh, remount the uh, heatsink. So we'll go ahead and... Now in pasting and processor, all you need is a little dab in the middle about the size of a grain of rice. And you just want to put it there. And uh, you just spread it out. I like to use my fingers sometimes, but I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to go ahead and just drop the heat sink on that little dab and uh, it'll spread right out. So there you have it. So right now that your heat sink's back on, screw it all down and everything like that. Always remember to hook up your little power pin. It's a four pin right there, okay? Because if you don't, your processor could possibly overheat and go boom boom and explode. You don't want that to happen. So now that we got all that hooked back up, we're going to take our sidebar, we're going to put that in. So. It's a little bit more difficult to do with one hand. Take that in, drop it down, grab this piece, and you're going to slide your side back on, put on your two screws, and then hook it up. I just time to boot it now that we have it all hooked up. Now enter setup. Intel Pentium Dual Core 2180. One mega to cash, which is a good thing. So now that we upgraded to a dual core, and that's how you upgrade your Dell and uh, save a hell of a lot of money doing it. So there you go.